Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to talk about, wait, what about Thor Ragnarok? In celebration of Avengers Infinity War, I wanted to talk about the most mythological place that exists in the MCU, in my opinion, Thor Ragnarok. Literally littered with mythology, that movie was fantastic and it was hilarious. But what I wanted to talk about specifically is Hela and her wolf. Hela is based off of the Norse goddess Hel, and that wolf is Fenrir, or otherwise known as Fenris Wolf. And those two beings are actually, in the original mythology, the son and daughter of Loki. The three children of Loki are the world serpent, Fenris Wolf, and Hell. I did love the movie. I thought it was great. I thought the mythology in it was fantastic, although I did think that they would talk about the Hela relationship with the Fenrir wolf a little bit more. They obviously didn't make her and the wolf the son and daughter of Loki. Uh, the MCU does take vast liberties with not only the comic book origin, but the mythological origin as well. It is high noted, though, that in Ragnarok, Fenrir the wolf is actually the one that kills Odin. Uh, that is in the original way that it happens. Fenrir swallows him and kills him. And in the actual Ragnarok battle that takes place, he is the one that kills him. Uh, it is also interesting to note that Fenrir grows to such a size in the mythology that him and his sons are able to swallow the very stars, the very sky, the moon, and that is why Fenrir is so big in the movie, but he actually grows to monumental sizes that they are actually able to swallow all the stars in the sky. And that is a that is one of my favorite pieces of the Ragnarok battle that ensues is when his sons go off and they just start consuming the vast parts of space and uh, Odin rides out to stop him and Fenrir does ultimately consume him. He is then killed with a magic boot by getting kicked in the face. That's a whole nother thing but you know as things go it's a pretty crazy battle and it is of course Ragnarok so the ending is most of the gods dying. Hela on the other hand is pretty standard. She's you know goddess of death. She actually resides over hell and and her name is Hel in Norse mythology. She receives a portion of the dead and rules over them. So that's kind of where they inspired the whole goddess of death thing. They play that pretty close to the chest. The biggest difference, of course, is that they never actually address who the wolf is in regards to what he can do. He is actually bound by a bunch of other gods and is forced to stay chained because he is the one that when Ragnarok happens, he becomes free and does start this entire thing by, by consuming Odin. So thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to talk about that specific part of Thor Ragnarok that I thought was super interesting and the differences between that specific relationship in the movie versus in the actual mythology. They kind of just treat Fenrir as her dog or her best friend and she kind of rides him into battle and kills people with him, which is super interesting, but I did just want to get out there. The actual actual origins of those two in the myth itself. If you liked this video, leave a like, subscribe for more of my content, leave a comment on anything you would like to see, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.